Very Big Fall by Emmy Kastner. All the leaves had ever known was the sway and stretch and green of the trees. Then one day, the wind blew colder. And the leaves knew something different was in the air. I'm loving these crisp breezes, Birch said. Is this what flying feels like? Everything is perfect and I don't want anything to change, said Oak. No fair, said Maple. Those trees have apples. I want apples. This is just the beginning, you know, a squirrel chirped. Birch was curious. The beginning of what? Fall, said another squirrel. Fall? The leaves agreed that was a silly name for colder weather. It happens every year, the first squirrel explained. You'll start changing colors soon and then... We change colors, Birch said, ready for adventure. But green is a very nice color to be, said Oak. Oh, squirrels think they know everything, Maple rolled her eyes. Although the squirrels had been right about rain and cats and tree houses, maybe they were right about this too. Turned out, Oak loved being yellow, and Birch was quite impressed with her bold new hue. But change wasn't quick for everyone. Maple thought Birch looked nice in orange, but was jealous of Oak's yellow, her favorite color. She was certain that at any moment, she too would turn a sunny shade of... Nope, still green. She had to keep waiting her turn. Amidst the changes, the leaves were still leaves. They couldn't help but listen to conversations below. Ooh, squealed Birch. Look, pie! What's pie? Oak asked. I don't know, but I want some, Maple sighed. You'll be able to hear better once you're on the ground, said one of the squirrels. The ground? The treetops erupted. What? How fast will I go? We fall? Um, that's too far down. What about the trees? Down there? I'm nervous and excited. No, thank you. Will it hurt? What if a friend isn't ready to fall? Can I go first? The wind blew harder yet, and then it started to happen. For Birch, it was a joyous leap through the windy sky. Oak had more of a hesitant trip downward. Am I close? Not really. Keep going, said Birch. Maple was still high in the branches, alone. She was not yellow. She was not falling. Impatient to join her friends, Maple yanked and pulled. I'm not sure I'd be in such a rush to get down there, said one of the squirrels. There are bottoms of boots and gutters. Oh, and dogs and rivers and rakes. Maple stopped tugging. But it was too late. Down, down, down she went. Somehow, the world seemed bigger on the ground. Maple was telling her friends about the boots and the rakes when there was a sudden gust 
then a whoosh. And the leaves were swept into a topsy-turvy swirl. Is that a gutter? Maple shouted. That must be a rake, said Oak. Do I smell pie? said Birch. That's when they heard a whisper. There you are and met a someone. She held oak, birch, and maple close to her chest because that's when you do with very special things. The girl listened closely. See that? I'm a pirate, said Birch. Can you draw me bravely carrying ten leaves down the tree? Oak asked. You know, I always knew I'd be red, said Maple. And fall was new all over again.